guys. Welcome back to another week of Mortgage Matters and Minutes. Again, I'm your host, Brent Rasmussen, owner of Mortgage Specialists. Today, what are we talking about? House insurance and the increase, like everything else that's gone up, my house insurance has increased by 10, 15, 20, 30 percent over the last renewal time frame. Before we get started here, we're going to disclose that obviously we're not licensed insurance professionals, but we have a great understanding of insurance because there's many insurance agents that we refer to, call for questions, talk about, and understand the whole real estate dynamic. So we're going to cover it very generally here today, but yet some things are going to be specific. So why is your homeowner's insurance going up? There's many factors, including in this, obviously inflation being one of them. And that house insurance is impactful to mortgage lending because we have to give you as best as we can a quote on what to maybe expect for the payment. While we can look up your property taxes, we can't always look up your homeowner's insurance. We can have you call around to your insurance agent, but sometimes that takes a few days to get the proper quote. And hopefully if you're comparing apples to apples on the insurance, you're able to, you know, then compare what the numbers look like. Why is we as mortgage lenders care so much about house insurance? Well, obviously if we're providing and giving a mortgage loan out for hundreds of thousands of dollars, we want to ensure that if something happens to your property, like someone becomes hurt or there's a hailstorm or a firestorm, we want to make sure that mortgage is covered. And that's the intent of homeowners insurance. And when you take out a mortgage, we require you to prepay a whole year in advance. And when I say we, I mean the entire market. Every lender requires this because if you go and purchase a home and cancel your insurance, we want to make sure there's time available to go ahead and give you access to new insurance to make sure that our loan that we are giving is covered. The last thing we want to see is give someone $300,000. They have no insurance house burns to the ground. Obviously there's nothing that's going to be there and the consumer is not going to write a big check for 300,000. So are people paying attention to their homeowner's insurance? Somewhat many don't because it's included in their escrows of their mortgage payment and they just keep seeing their payment go up and they don't know why and they're unsure. But if you have a fixed rate loan, your mortgage payment isn't going up but your property taxes and your escrow account uh, or your insurance in your escrow account is. And we've chatted about this a few different videos back about what goes into your escrow account, but today we're seeing big, large increases in home insurance. And a good friend of mine in a group this week had brought this to my attention saying, hey, don't you know shoot the messenger. I'm just the guy telling you that your insurance is gonna be going up. And why is that happening? Well, let's first talk about factors that influence homeowners insurance. Well, obviously zip code is included in that. Um, you know, obviously location is zip code. What kind of property do you have? Is it large and small? Is it big? Is it unique? Um, and all those things that happen, what kind of claim history and payment history do you have? And the biggest obviously is market trends. Uh, we've talked about this and seen this for years. We generally in Omaha have a large, hailstorm, windstorm, tornado storm that comes through. And people have been accessing free roofs to their insurance companies for many, many years. And I've always told all of our clients, you're not getting a free roof. You're just kicking the can down the road and gonna be paying for it later. Not, while well, you might see that you're not paying for a $15,000 roof, but insurance company is, eventually they're gonna recoup those costs. But obviously as we make more claims and more storms happen, the price is going to go up. But also if we look at the market and the market trends, what has happened here locally and across the country with property values? Property values have skyrocketed and those are actually keeping ahead of insurance costs from what I can tell and what I can see. When insurance agents call and say your insurance went up 10%, that's awesome. The values here in the Omaha area generally are going up larger than 10% right now. Is that always happening? No, at some point in time, things will flatten out. So before you call and yell at your insurance agent and let them have it and go pull your insurance file and go somewhere else, look at the facts here. And the facts are, what is my real value of my house? And then look at the replacement costs. Replacement costs is the number that the insurance is going to base your house off of and what's going to pay out to a certain extent in case of a, uh, an issue with your property. 
a lot of people say, well, I'm just going to go shop around, find a new insurance company, blah, blah, blah. Well, insurance companies are just like many other companies. They can play games and give you a really low premium the first year and then raise it up that you don't even pay attention to. But in theory, if we are an insurance company and we're looking at risk, everybody should be exactly the same, just like mortgage professionals out there. All of us are accessing money through Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA, VA. So some of us are going to do the loan cheaper than others, and that might happen in the insurance world. But if we're looking around at the same coverage, the same deductibles, then we should be paying the same price no matter where we go. If you're increasing with this company 10%, it should go up over here 10%. If all the actuaries have the access to the same information and doing the same calculations, because insurance is a law of averages. It's a law of many different people, millions of people and millions of claims. And how does that risk um, come out in the long wash between bringing in premiums and paying out those premiums as well? So am I saying that, hey, you know, like the increase? No, I mean, I'm not saying anybody likes an increase in anything, but right now here in the spring of 2024, last year and the year before, and now the cost of everything is going up. So let's say your house does happen to get hit by a tornado and it's demolished to the ground. The cost to rebuild that house are much more expensive now than it was five, 10, 20, 30 years ago when the house was built. So the insurance companies are keeping up with that. Same with car insurances, for example. Your car insurance is continually going up. Why is that? Well, insurance, I mean, car prices are going up and all the chips and the commodities and the cameras and the screens are all have gotten more advanced. The more advanced it gets, obviously the more costly it is and that's why the insurance companies obviously are needing to raise the raise to cover it do i like the insurance raise i don't love it not saying that i'm here pro insurance by any means but do i have insurance to cover me for everything in my life from life insurance disability insurance long-term care workman's comp um car insurance house insurance umbrella coverage yes i have more insurance than i can name but they are all there because inflation and value of homes have not continued to rise. So I think the only answer that I can tell you is if your insurance is raised by this much percent or that much percent is to sit down with your insurance agent and talk through the options and say, hey, what are uh, what is really going on? And if you're looking at your replacement costs and it's very similar to your appraised value or assessed value or whatever value you want to determine, then obviously it's in a good number. Um, and if you contact other insurance people, it's gonna go up too. So prepare yourself for increases over time. When you're purchasing homes, I know people are looking for a flat, consistent payment, but generally that's not always going to happen. We're going to see your taxes continue to rise and your homeowner's insurance continue to rise along with the value of your property that's also gonna to continue to rise. If the value is continuing at the same pace or even more than the insurance cost, you're winning the game. You're gonna go out and sell your house for something, but I know people say, well, I gotta live somewhere. And that's right. It's a lot better to own something in my opinion than to rent for 20, 30 years because at the end of it, you have nothing. So just a little different aspect uh, to maybe defend the insurance agents out there that are having to make these phone calls. It's no different than when I contact someone and explain to them, hey, the rate just went up a quarter percent, half percent. It's not a fun phone call. No one wants to hear anything went up and got more expensive, but I'll tell you that does happen each and every day. Let us know if we can help answer any questions and whether if it is an insurance question and we're not a licensed professional, we can get you to the right professionals out there. We work side by side with insurance agents, CPAs, attorneys, financial advisors, real estate agents to get the right answer for what you need. Uh, again, we only handle the mortgage piece. We're not licensed for insurance, but if we can help answer anything for you, please reach out. We can get you the right referral as well, too. Uh, my name is Brent Rasmussen. I'm the owner of Mortgage Specialist here. We're always a phone call away, and you can check us out on our website at mtg-specialists.com. Have a great rest of your day and week, and we'll see you next time. Mortgage Specialists. Driven. Trusted. Reliable.